I had always considered our town a haven, a place where everyone knew each other's name and the quiet streets were lined with familiar faces. That was until the stranger arrived, weaving his way through the narrow lanes with an unsettling air of mystery. It was a chilly autumn evening when I first noticed him. I was sitting on the porch, sipping hot cocoa, and watching the leaves dance in the wind. The stranger emerged from the shadows, a silhouette against the dimming light. Tall and lean, he moved with an unnatural grace, his steps barely making a sound on the cobblestone road. What caught my attention, though, was the haunting melody that trailed behind him, a tune so chilling it sent shivers down my spine. He whistled it with an eerie precision, a haunting cadence that echoed through the quiet streets, like a ghostly lament. I couldn't help but feel a knot tighten in my stomach as the stranger approached. His face was obscured by the brim of a worn-out hat, and his eyes were hidden in the shadows. I nodded in greeting, expecting a nod in return, but the stranger merely continued his tune, as if locked in some otherworldly trance. As the days passed, the stranger became a fixture in our quaint town. He strolled through the streets at odd hours, always accompanied by that unsettling whistle. People started talking, sharing nervous glances as they passed him by. The whispers echoed through the local diner, the grocery store, and the cosy corners of the town pub. Who is he? What does he want? Why won't he stop that haunting whistle? I couldn't escape the unease that lingered in the air, so I decided to unravel the mystery myself. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, I followed the stranger from a safe distance. The streets were bathed in an eerie twilight, and the whistle echoed through the silence like a mournful hymn. He led me to the outskirts of town, where the houses gave way to dense woods. The air grew thick and colder, and a sense of foreboding settled over me. The stranger finally halted near an ancient oak tree, its gnarled branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. He turned to face me, and for the first time I saw his eyes piercing, almost ethereal. Without a word he pointed to the ground beneath the oak tree. I hesitated, unsure of his intent, but the urgency in his gaze urged me to dig. As I unearthed the soil, my fingers brushed against something cold and metallic. With each scoop the haunting whistle intensified, as if the very earth recoiled from the revelation. I uncovered an old rusted key. The stranger gestured towards a dilapidated door hidden in the trunk of the oak tree, a door I had never noticed before. The key fit perfectly, unlocking a passage into the heart of the ancient tree. Curiosity overcoming fear, I stepped into the hidden chamber. The air inside was thick with the scent of damp earth, and a dim light flickered from a lantern suspended above. In the centre of the room, a weathered journal lay open, its pages filled with the accounts of a long-forgotten tragedy, as I read the pages, the stranger's presence explained itself. He had once been a resident of our town, a soul lost to time. The journal chronicled his tale, a love betrayed, a life cut short, and a promise unfulfilled. The haunting melody he whistled was the very song he had composed for his beloved, a melody that transcended the boundaries of life and death. He had returned to our town as a spectre, bound by the anguish of the past, unable to find rest until his lost love's grave was discovered. With a heavy heart I realised the melody was a lament, a requiem for a love that had endured beyond the grave. The stranger's spectral eyes pleaded with me, urging me to fulfil his promise. Driven by an inexplicable compulsion, I followed the trail described in the journal to a forgotten cemetery on the outskirts of town. There, hidden beneath the overgrown weeds and moss-covered stones, I discovered the grave of his beloved, and as I stood by the long-neglected resting place, the stranger's whistle transformed into a melancholic serenade. It echoed through the night, carrying the weight of a broken promise finally fulfilled. With a final mournful note, the stranger's form dissipated like mist in the wind. The chilling melody lingered for a moment, then faded into the silence of the night. The town, once haunted by the stranger's presence, felt lighter as if a long-held sorrow had been lifted. In the days that followed, the memory of the stranger and his haunting whistle faded from the minds of the townsfolk. Life resumed its normal pace, and the secret chamber beneath the ancient oak tree remained hidden, its entrance sealed once more, and yet on quiet autumn evenings, when the wind whispered through the leaves and the shadows grew long, a faint echo of that haunting melody could still be heard, a reminder of a love that had endured, 
transcending the boundaries between the living and the departed, 